Welcome to part three of the Millennium Falcon painting tutorial. Yesterday, I did the second layer of discoloration over the entire model, and having let that dry for 24 hours, it's now time to darken some of the specific panels. Now, as you can see, I've already darkened a few on this turret piece, and I'll explain it and show you how it works on this one. So what I've got here now is I've got some 502 Obtolung Faded UN White, which is not exactly white, it's like an off-white, slightly gray. Um, of course, more dark mud, and more faded navy blue, and more odorless terpenoid thinner. I've already taken and mixed a little bit of the faded navy blue and dark mud together, and got this color. So to take and, um, darken the panel here, take a little bit of thinner on a flat, rounded brush is what I'm using and I'm gonna make kind of a slurry here on my palette paper and I'm gonna take that slurry and I'm going to apply it to the specific panel now this could take a little bit, take some skill, the rounded tip brush helps you get into the edges without going all over the place so I'm gonna paint this and you'll notice there's a bunch of little brush marks here and globs and everything else from me painting this. That's fine because what I'm going to take next is a Deerfoot stippler brush. I don't know if you can see that. It's flat, rounded, and I'm going to stipple out these brush marks. Now this leaves a little bit of a texture, which is also somewhat undesirable. I'll take this, blow on it a few times get the sheen down a little bit so it's not completely wet and you're going to take a flat soft brush and you're just going to lightly brush over that and blend this into the surface work it in And there you have it, a gray panel for the Millennium Falcon. I can add more of the slurry to this later, tomorrow actually, once this dries, if I want to darken it. I'll also be able to add more discoloration on top of this panel. Now, another part of the technique, and why I did this one first, is lightening some of the, high, some of the raised areas. So I'm going to take a little bit of this faded UN white, I don't know how you fade white, but whatever. Um, it's a good color, though. It matches the um, base color I've got here. And I'm just going to kind of dry brush this very lightly on some of the raised detail. So you'll notice this one is dark. I brush this over top of it. And it lightens that tiny little detail panel makes it more visible, makes it pop, and gives more depth and dimension to your overall piece. And there you have it. That's today's installment. Tomorrow I will show you how to slightly discolor and filter individual panels, uh, but of course I've got to let this dry first, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.